Hello, Paul Chapman here, and welcome to the first of my tutorials on the Word Bible software. To give you some background information, I came across this program a couple of years ago. I downloaded it, tried it out, and have used it ever since. I highly recommend it to anyone who wants just a simple Bible reader, or someone who wants to do some in-depth Bible study, or even in preparing of sermons, doing some deep research, it's a great little program for that as well. In fact, uh, I was attracted firstly by its elegance. Uh, secondly by its flexibility and thirdly by its uh, hidden power which can be quite deceptive at first because you don't really realize that it's all there but in fact it's there and I hope in this series of tutorials to bring out some of that power to you um, a colleague of mine said to me a few uh, months back look Paul I've downloaded the program tried it out I just don't quite get it I mean there's a little, little icons and menus here what are those what does this all mean how does it all work how does it all go together well uh, I hope in this series of, of tutorials to to uh, show you just a little bit of that, just how it does all fit together. I want to introduce you today to a couple of key concepts as well as to a simple verse lookup. How do we do that? So let's go to the beginning. Now, when you first install this program, you'll be offered a, uh, a, a number of layouts that you could use. The beginner's layout is what I have here right now. Uh, to show you, just if we go to the view menu, layout and here we have some predefined layouts beginner novice basic default and uh, four others here these are all predefined uh, if you start with the default layout some people who haven't used the Bible program before might find that a little bit daunting um, so we're going to keep it with the beginner and we're going to build up from there so just keeping it with the beginner layout which I have opened now um, I want to just talk a little, little bit about this Bible view window the Bible view window is used to display Bibles that's the key resource that it's displayed in that window there you are able to turn off and on some features that is showing footnotes showing references to commentaries or what have you um, and you can show even inline uh, Bible commentary to give you an idea down here at the bottom of this uh, column of icons we have a gear wheel now don't click on the gear wheel we're going to click on the little arrow beside that gear wheel if I click on that little arrow it gives me some options for this Bible view if I click on the inline commentaries I can show an inline commentary beside each verse now I'm when I first set this up it, it prompts me to choose which commentaries I want to show. So I'll click uh, yes I do want to show the commentaries I'm going to show just the JFB for now. I can choose however many number of commentaries I have installed in the program to display in line. I'm going to choose just one now. I click OK and bang up it comes. There it is displayed in line with the Bible verse. So that's one way of reading through the Bible and having a commentary uh, uh, displayed there with it in this one window, a Bible view window. Now I can't search that commentary, um, there's not really much I can do with that apart from copy and paste. Um, other resources, which might be uh, books, um, it might be uh, dictionaries, could be maps and graphics, uh, other notes, other resources you may have, they're displayed in what we call a book view uh, window. Now, I'm going to open up a book view window. I can do that by, if you see these icons at the top here, there's this uh, window icon with a little uh, yellow um, um, light highlighting there. If I click on that window icon, it it gives me an option for four different kinds of windows. I can have a new Bible view, I can have a new book view, I can have a new Bible search view, I can have a new book search view. The new Bible search view will open up a Bible search window which is used to search Bible views. A new book search view opens up a window which is used to search book views. I'm going to open up a book view right now and I can do that by hitting F12 or clicking on that icon. There we have it, the book view. As you can see, a little bit difference is the color of the top of the window border to indicate that it is a different type of window from what you have opened below. As I said, uh, there is uh, one type of window for the Bibles, is the Bible view. 
any other resource you have installed is viewed through this book view. It's used for every other kind of resource. Some Bible software programs out there use dedicated windows. Some might use a dedicated window for a commentary, others for a dedicated window for a notes, a dedicated window for topics, a dedicated window for dictionaries. But you can use the one kind of window to show all those kinds of resources that you might have installed. You will see this little library icon here. If I click on that icon um, at the top left of the book view, uh, that icon gives me options to show what are uh, of modules, I should say, that I can show in that uh, window. If I click on dictionaries, I'll be able to show dictionaries in this window. If I click um, on the uh, books or maps and graphics, I'll be able to show other books and maps, other books in that window. Um, I can show other um, <coughs> resources that I have installed, that I've created myself, I can create sets of resources that I can display in this book view window. Right now, I'm just going to stick with the commentaries and uh, we're going to click on Clark's commentary. And as you can see, as I scroll through the Bible, that window, book view window, syncs with the Bible view window. So there you have it. Keep that in mind. Bible view window is to show the Bible. Book view is to show any other kind of resource you might have. So let's just close that for now. And I'm going to turn off this inline commentary for now. And uh, we'll get cracking in our, our tutorial this morning, which is simply how do I look up a verse reference? Now, in the Word Bible software, it's designed to be uh, adaptable to how you work the best. Some people uh, like to use a tree. Uh, view to look up a reference and we've got a tree view here. You can call that tree view up two ways. Number one through the F8 key on my keyboard or I can click on view and show Bible tree. I've got the tree showing there. I can just click through or scroll uh, through it. Let's say I want, I want to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. I can scroll down to John 3, click on the uh, tree uh, plus sign, I can click on then the plus sign beside the chapter 3 and then just scroll down to the verse that I want and here we are, John 3 verse 16. So that's one way through the Bible tree. Now a second way is through the keyboard. If I click on F4, up here in the top right you'll see a verse lookup reference field. So that verse reference lookup field is now highlighted. I can type in there anything I want. Let's say I type in Genesis 1 verse 10. Bang, it takes me straight to Genesis 1 and verse 10. I can click on uh, F4 again, or rather hit F4 key again. And let's say I want to choose uh, Romans, I should say, um, Romans uh, 3 and verse 10. Bang, it takes me to Romans 3 verse 10. So there you have it, through the verse reference uh, lookup field. I can also move my mouse to the right of that verse reference lookup field, a little drop down arrow. If I click on that, out pops a, a, uh, a series of columns which contain the books of the Bible. I can hover my mouse over any one of those books and out pops a chapter. The, all the chapters that are in that book, I can hover over any one of those chapters and out will pop the verses that are in that book. I then click on the verse and it takes me straight there. So that's three primary ways that you can quickly get to a verse reference that you know already beforehand that you want to look up. Now, once I'm there in the book, how do I navigate my way through that book? Well, we have uh, a series of six icons here that are all used for navigation. In terms of navigating uh, step by step through the book, I c or jumping back and forth, I can do that through these four icons here. The first one is taking me back book by book, and if I click on the uh, back arrow over the book, it takes me back book to the previous book. I can go back one at a time through that, or I can go forward one at a time by clicking on the arrow, forward arrow over the book. I can also jump to all the books that are ahead of this book. I can jump to one that's quite a few books down by clicking on the little drop down arrow beside uh, that icon and I can jump to the books that are ahead. If I click on the drop down arrow beside the back uh, book uh, icon, I can jump backwards to the book that I want. So there you have it, book by book. Uh, forwards, book by book, backwards. I can also go chapter by chapter with the next icon. Forwards a chapter, or back a chapter, uh, up a verse, or I should say up a verse, 
I would down a verse with the next icon down there. So there you have it. Now, as, if I'm in a book, you'll see there's the chapter title at the top here, and beside the chapter title, we have some hyperlinks. That's all the hyperlinks to the chapters that are in that book. I can click on any one of those links, it takes me straight to that chapter. Down below, I also have some hyperlinks going next chapter and previous chapter. I suspect that if you've got a tablet PC or something like that, you might find touching the touching those might be very easy to do with uh, the finger on the screen um, or clicking on the mouse is quite simple as well. Um, I find myself using uh, the um, drop down arrow beside the verse field quite verse reference lookup field quite often. I also probably use the keyboard. The Bible tree I don't use that much but if you're just starting out um, it might be quite simple and easy way to uh, get to the verse that you want. So there you have it, uh, how to look up a verse quite quickly through the Word Bible software. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, next time we'll uh, take you a bit further through the Word and uh, looking up some uh, uh, key, uh, doing some keyword searches and phrase searches. So until then, uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care. God bless you. Bye for now.